everybody's um, has a uh, little polling device here, and you've got a printout of the poll questions. And so when you're you're prompted, and I'll go ahead and read the questions, um, and then just please select the button corresponding to your answer. What do you think is the appropriate role of a company in solving a social problem that is important to its business? One, drive the solution. Two, be part of the solution. Three, invest pragmatically. Four, fund the solution. Five, do not engage. Please pick one. Uh, half of you believe that it's important for a company to drive the solution, obviously to be part of it. Um, in terms of funding it, that's an interesting number. Only 6% believe that uh, it's appropriate to fund the solution. And I guess this raises the, the point that uh, writing checks is no longer enough or no longer uh, what, what is expected. Yeah, that's how I would see it. I mean, I think that, that the scale here is clearly drive the solution means you do whatever is necessary, and that may include funding. It may actually, sometimes it's not the funds that is the scarcest resource. It's the uh, individuals that have the capabilities that are the scarcest resource. But I think at the same time, I think the, the difference between one and two here is, and we have had situations uh, in our communities where you really have to, and you want to enable the community instead of being our core as the leader you know, because you want to you want to create a sustainable environment. Ken, what is what is the, the single most important way beyond writing checks that you can leverage the goodwill of General Mills? Well, I I mean, I had a, my reaction was very very similar to 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 Klaus's. I mean, in our work in Africa, uh, we started off writing checks and we started off uh, sending food from the United States uh, to to places that that really needed it, and it's it's a wonderful thing to do it really doesn't help them uh, very much in the long run. And so it was only when we, s when we said, okay, how can we engage the, the local uh, communities in to, to produce uh, these food products themselves using locally produced materials? And you know, it's only when you get to that point, I think that you, you really start to, to, to drive a long-term and sustainable solution. And, and that's partly about money, but it's mostly about finding the partners. Uh, you know, there locally who can really help you bring that kind of idea to life. So, so I actually, I agree that sometimes money is, uh, you know, uh, it, it can, can actually, I mean, it gets in the way of where you want to go in the long run.